everyone and today we're going to make this beautiful BS martini. I would say it would be a great candle for a Hindu. So here is what you will need. If you can find a workaround to these things then feel free. So step one is melting some wax. So this is going to be for the main section of your martini glass so you need enough to fill that up. And while I'm waiting for that to melt, I'm going to wick my martini glass. And I've just got a bit of cardboard here, and I've punched a hole in it to help centre the wick. As you can see, it is uh, one that I've used before. I think there's no point in throwing something out. So next, what we're going to do is, after the wax is melt, we will add some colour. And a Pierce martini is usually a yellow colour because it's got passion fruit in it and I'm also going to be adding the scent and this scent is going to be tutti frutti from Mystic Moments and I just think that it reminds me a lot of this cocktail when I smell it. So I'm just going to pour it into the glass and I'm going to make sure that I leave some space at the top and I've also got some leftover wax from the yellow as well for later. So next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making the passion fruit. So I've got a small amount of wax and I've got uh, a spherical mould and I've just taken one part of the spherical mould. After I've added the scent, I'm just going to pour it straight in so the majority of this is going to be white. So a passion fruit, if you've seen one, has a purple outside. Now I won't actually see this in the cocktail because it's going to be submerged. The point of this step is more of when the candle starts melting that you see more purple be distributed around the candle. So it's more of a forethought about how the candle's going to look when it's been burned. So I've just put it on a bit of cling film and I've got a tiny bit of wax with purple colourant in it. I'm just pouring it over top to create a, a layer of purple. And once that's dried, I'm just going to break off the parts around the circle. And it doesn't need to be neat because you're not going to actually see this in the candle. Like I said before, it is just so when it melts, you get a bit more purple mixing through. So what we're going to do next is we're going to carve out the centre of this. And this is because when you cut a passion fruit in half, there's a large area of white flesh, but in the centre there is a yellow pulp with the seeds. So we're just creating room for that at the moment. You don't need to carve very deeply, just enough to be able to pour um, some yellow wax. And this is the leftover yellow wax from the cocktail earlier. I've just really melted it down and I'm just pouring it in here. And this just helps save time rather than doing a new melt and adding colour and scent again. And it also is a good colour match. And this is actually a little bit unbalanced, so I'm just using the spoon here just to stop it from rolling so the wax doesn't drip. So what I'm doing next is I'm just adding some detail, but first I've just got a toothpick and I'm cleaning it up. So I'm just getting rid of any rough edges along the yellow circle. I'm also using the side of the toothpick just to make the whole thing a little bit more rounded and uniform in shape because it got a little bit lumpy when I poured the purple over top of it. And now I'm using the back of a paintbrush just to press down in the centre yellow to create little holes and these are going to be the seeds. Now with some mica powder I'm just dusting on 
um, in the holes and this is more of just shading at this stage um, because later I'm going to go over it uh, with a more vibrant purple. So in this little dish is a little bit of alcohol and I've just added the mica to it and it turns it into a paint like consistency. It makes the colour more vibrant, it also makes it stick to the wax better. And I would use alcohol over water because it evaporates faster which makes the mica set where you've placed it. Rather than water, it takes a longer time to evaporate. You can find that the mica spreads out and drips a little bit with it. And I'm just going to be colouring in the places that you're going to see from the top once this candle is complete. So it doesn't need to be fully coloured in. And ideally you don't want to because if you've got too much mica in a candle, it can clog the wick, which can make it not burn properly. So I'm only using just a little bit what I need for decoration. Now what I'm doing is I'm just sort of smudging some of the excess mica around a little bit. One, to clean up the edges around the holes, but also to add a slight purple hint to the white, so it's not a bright white. And now we get to finish everything up. So I've just melted some wax, and I'm not going to add any colour, I'm only going to add some scent to it. And then I'm just going to top up the martini glass after it's stirred in. But when I do this, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap just because it can get displaced when I add the passion fruit in. So I'm just carefully putting the passion fruit in and since there's a little bit more of a gap I'm just going to top it up ever so slightly just to make the wax hit the rim of the glass. And once it's dry this is what it looks like. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It was quite fun and I'm sure that you will enjoy making it too. Please let me know what you would like to see next. And we're on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok. You can find us anywhere.